while he was in Chicago, he got his interest in etching, I think, working for a, a man who illustrated books. And I think that's when he first learned about the black and white business. But then, of course, when he went to art school, he'd take everything. Do you happen to recall who he, any of the names of people he studied with in John Studio's League? No, I don't. I know the guy that he worked for that got him interested in black and whites was Ralph Butcher Seymour, because I have a book of his right here in the book. He went, as I say, he went there at uh, Art Students League in New York, and then he got a, for which he had a scholarship. And then I guess somehow or other he earned enough money to get himself to Europe to study for a year. And while he was over there, he took a bicycle trip through Norway, I mean uh, Normandy, up through that area. And then he went to Corsica. And then he went up to Sweden. So how much studying he got done, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he had a good time. <laughs> he had a good time. And I do have some etchings that he made over there, which were printed in Paris. So he was starting to do etching quite right? Yeah. And then when he came back, I think he came back in 29, is for he and I were married. And uh, he took his, the stuff he'd been doing in Europe into a dealer in New York City and asked if they would sell his prints for him. And uh, he was told that everybody, his brother, would bring back European stuff to find something just typically American. And then they would be interested, and that's how kind of got started on his. And uh, he, he was invited off on several cruises. You know, when they take the, the Eagle, well, yes, Eagle, off on the summer cruises for the cadets. He got to go along as artist on board or whatever you want to How did he work being the artist? All of his marine etchings, would he kind of work from memory or would he? No, he had oh, hundreds of sketchbooks. Etchings. Hundreds of them. And then he'd come home and work from those. And he uh, did most of his sketching while he was out with the Coast Guard yeah. Academy. Yeah. Well, when he, I mean, any place, any place there were boats, he'd be. Actually, in the, in the summer, he would go off on a trip wherever, usually up Maine, someplace north, and he would come home with a bunch of sketches and do watercolors, which a lot of them eventually turned into etchings. Mm -hmm. 